when I finally got deployed, uh, I was a full lieutenant at that stage of the game. And, and so I had to go out to Midway to, to wait on a boat that would, the skipper would take a more senior officer. On, on board the barb, why, uh, I, I made four of the skipper's five war patrols, and I was torpedo and gunnery officer. I, I received uh, medals for uh, three patrols. The way you determine it is successful is whether or not you sunk ships. In the case of the barb, why we not only sunk the ships, but we also uh, did historic things uh, such as going into harbors and, and blowing up and disrupting a, a whole shipping system or firing the first ballistic missiles from a submarine and sending a party ashore to blow up a train, which is the only U.S. troops that conducted combat operations on the mainland islands of Japan during World War II. We were assigned as a wolf pack for the uh, three boats in the eastern part of the South China Sea between Formosa and the Philippines. We got a, a, a message directing us to proceed at best speed to the western part of the South China Sea because a Japanese ship carrying POWs from Singapore up to Japan did not have safe passage and one of our submarines sank the, the transport and we had POWs in the water and we stayed on the surface and made a, made a night surface attack and we were able to, through our fabulous navigator, locate where the POWs were and picked up 13 of them who'd been in the water for five days all soaked with oil and, and, and really in poor, poor shape. We had to go find the ships running up and down the coast of China and waited for them to come out between the island chains and they didn't show. But uh, we went into the harbor uh, through the uncharted channel and fired uh, all the four torpedoes we had forward, turned around and fired the four stern tubes and got the hell out of there. Uh, in the meantime, of course, why about the first ship that went up was an ammunition ship. We pumped up the low pressure blower to get us as high as we could and the skipper told the maneuvering room to, to put their hands on the main bearing shaft and when it got too hot, the hold take off two turns. And so that was the occasion why our pit log sword arm registered 23.5 knots for the barb. And if that's not a record for a Gato class submarine, it's close to it was not just the ships that were sunk, the fact that we had completely disrupted their whole system of convoys resupplying the Philippines while the Philippine invasion and battle was going on. After the war, why, I uh, stayed in the Navy, commanded two submarines. My most extensive, obviously, was when I was uh, the Commander Naval Support Activity at Saigon, and I had the responsibility for all the Navy support in the 234 Corps. I went back to Vietnam in 2006, and what you notice is the vastly improved uh, standard of living in the southern part of Vietnam versus the northern part, and which did we support? I, I came back and I said, they're doing now what we tried like hell to get them to do 40 years ago. So it's going to take many, many years for the impact of even our involvement in Afghanistan and so forth to really have an impact. Because when those people see the U.S. serviceman and they see what he does and how he operates and what he does, they're gonna want some of that later.